I don't really know much about the Horus Heresy or 30k, but what I am familiar with is a good old fashioned Games Workshop hype train. A nearly $300 hype train at that. Or is it actually GW genuinely trying to make like a sub version of 40k that they plan on supporting indefinitely? That's the question, let's talk about it. So if you don't know by now, there's a big Horus Heresy box on the way. It's currently up for pre-order and I think it's coming out maybe around the 18th of June. I think this may be the second edition that Games Workshop has made, but as I said, I'm not that knowledgeable, so don't correct me. I don't care. And from what I can gather, according to a wiki that I read, before 2017, it was effectively using like 40k rules and it was using minis from Forge World. But it does seem, to my knowledge, that we're going to be transitioning basically from a Forge World product to a proper Games Workshop product. And for me, the key question is are people buying into this because it's a classic GW hype train, or is this actually going to bloom into its own sort of like standalone game that's going to be around for, you know, a, a period of time that players are happy with? And actually there are signs that are pointing to the latter and that sort of excites me and I'll explain why soon. Let me put my cards on the table. I basically think it's both. I think it's a hype train that are going to get people who don't really want to play the game into the game at least temporarily and they're not going to stick around but I do think there are signs that Games Workshop actually want it to stick around and the first of that is well it's Horus Heresy 30k. Rules for this have already been around for quite a while already so we, it already has a proven track record if that makes sense and it seems as very much evidence that Games Workshop actually want to get new players into the Horus Heresy. Like as I said it seems like Games Workshop are going to take it under its wing and they're obviously making plastic miniatures this time around and they've made a space for it on their website like it's one of their main core games. As well as that from what I can gather the actual starter box itself is really good value essentially designed to get you into the game. However there's a caveat there that it seems that the things beyond the core box basically this new starter box are going to be priced in the traditional GW way i.e. quite high like I think you get like a army rule books basically you get one for the good guys and the bad guys and I think they're like $60 each for example so there's a little caveat there but they've also produced a roadmap stuff that is basically going to come out for the game in the following months so to a big extent I don't think this is like a formal box like we might have seen with the curse city and that kind of stuff this is GW like apparently offering a proper alternative to 40k that's a bit more old school it's older style rules it's older style in the fact you get like range sticks that you can hit each other with and you get templates just sort of going for a more classic experience unfortunately for me this doesn't mean that people who don't need or want this box won't end up buying it anyway or what might happen is people for now want the box because they see all the hype and they're getting excited you see all the youtubers and stuff like that and then in a couple of months they go oh well maybe i only painted it half of it up or whatever and i'm not ever going to play the game and then they sort of regret buying it buyer's remorse basically now i'm not going to sit here and call 30k unpopular popular but I think most of us can admit that it wasn't really in the same league as 40k or Age of Sigma before the release of this box. I very rarely saw people actively trying to get games of it either like on Facebook or anything like that. There's probably our local communities and if you live near one of them or all your friends play you'll be like we played it all the time. Like fair enough but I never really saw my massive tournaments or anything like that. So for me there's definitely an open question here whether or not GW will succeed in making it popular enough for most players. Now as I said like, if you're playing with friends and family we like the popularity of a game doesn't really matter as long as you're going to get your fun out of the, the armies you're happy right but for some people you sort of need like a seed a community something to grow tournaments to go to and that kind of thing and i really do have to wonder how many people will be playing 30k in the next six months like in six months time or basically will it end up being back to where it was before this box honestly like i have no idea what i would say is if you're on the fence maybe money's a little tighter because of literally everything that's going on in the world today and you're um and i whether or not you should buy it maybe just take a step back realize that it might just be a hype train and the hype might wear off but if you're like a big 30k fanboy or fangirl fair enough cracking jump in you probably already pre-ordered it maybe even multiple times you know i'm not trying to stop you having your fun that doesn't make any sense also if the cost of the box and the armies and stuff like that is effectively meaningless to you because you've got the disposable income again crack on like it's your money do whatever you like obviously but as i said if money is something of a subject to you that you have to consider and you have to think twice about and a definitely at nearly like 200 pounds UK I think it's 185 then I would definitely put myself into that camp then please all I'm actually saying is consider if you're getting dragged along by the hype train or if you're actually a willing passenger riding it to its full destination now why am I even talking about this you might be like Jay why are you talking about this if you're not into the Horus 
crazy. You might not even know my name, so that might be a question you wouldn't ask. Well, for me, I think this is actually an indication of things to come in the future. With specifically, I'm talking about Warhammer Fantasy or Warhammer The Old World, which I am definitely interested in. And I think there's some similarities here between Horus Heresy and The Old World. Both of them are effectively prequels of a main game, like obviously Age of Sigma and Warhammer 4K respectively. And I think Games Workshop actually do want these to become like the secondary game and be there for the long term. And I think they want to have proper miniature ranges for them. As well as that, I think Fantasy will have a starter box very similar to what we're seeing with the Horus Heresy. I think it'll come with range sticks and I think it'll come with templates and scatter dice and it'll obviously be based on some version of like the existing rules before it got end timed. And I suspect it's going to be humans versus something. A bit of me sort of suspects it's going to be humans versus humans, maybe like even Empire versus Bretonia or something like that. So with that in mind, when I've been seeing all this talk about the Horus Heresy, it sort of just piqued my interest and actually sparked me to make this channel because I'm like, well, I want to talk about the old world and the Horus Heresy, I think maybe setting a bit of a blueprint for the future and what we might actually get. And that's what I'm interested in, I'm in that camp. So alas, I obviously will wait for the old world, but I'm still going to, you know, try and tempt people to not ride any hype train just because it's a GW hype train and the models look good and the price is good and the value for money in the box set is good and that kind of stuff. I just want people in this day and age to just maybe take your foot off the gas. I don't necessarily think you have a gas pedal in a train <laughs> but you get the idea so do let me know are you in on the hype train are you buying into this box set do you think you'll be playing 30k in six months time like genuinely like please do let me know i will be very interested in that obviously if you're interested in i'm probably just going to talk about like games workshop stuff as well as the old world because the old world is you know maybe a couple years out and i'm personally sort of playing kill team there's a tournament that i'm probably going to go to even though i've not actually played a new version of the kill team anyway that's a whole long story and we're not going to talk about it right here but if you're interested in whatever I'm yapping about, please do consider subscribing. I really didn't sell that well, but if you like this video, press like as well. What you should definitely do is have the most beautiful, beautiful day. Goodbye.